Hi folks, Matthew here with another MIDI Baby configuration video. In today's video, we'll cover connecting the MIDI Baby to a Chase Plus pedal. Let's get started. First things first, we're using a Condor for today's video, but you should know that all Chase Plus pedals work in exactly the same way. The only exceptions are the Womb Tone and Warped Vinyl Mark 1. If you have one of those, contact us through the website and we'll help you out if we can. All of the more current Chase Plus pedals, that is everything from Warped Vinyl and Womb Tone Mark II, all the way up to the most recent Dark World, all work the same way for the purposes of this video. So if you're not using a Condor, if you're using a Tonal Recall, Therme, Brothers, anything like that, don't worry. All the steps are the same, so you can follow along. First things first, go to our website, disasterareadesigns.com, and click in the top bar under support and click MIDI Baby Editor. Once you've loaded the editor, make sure that you've got your MIDI Baby plugged into your computer with the included USB cable. And then make sure that the Disaster G3 MIDI In interface at the top is checked in and out. Click Read Device and you're ready to get started. If you'd like some more information about how to connect everything and what all the globals mean, please watch our MIDI Baby Part 1 introduction. Okay, so the Chase Plus pedals connect to MIDI devices using a TRS cable like this. This is a stereo cable, TRS, tip ring sleeve. So this is just an inexpensive molded cable. You can really use any cable you want as long as it has tip, ring, and sleeve all wired through. So we're gonna connect it to the multi jack on the side of the MIDI Baby and to the MIDI jack on the Condor. Some Chase Plus pedals say something like EXTA MIDI or TAP MIDI, it's all the same jack. It's the upper left jack. Go to the editor and under globals, select multi jack MIDI ring. One important note, if you are using the disaster area Chase Bliss cables, that is to say the cables that have the TRS pancake on one end like this, and then the Evo plug or disaster plug on the other end, then you need to select MIDI tip. But generally it's MIDI ring and a TRS cable. Click the Save Global Config and Device, and then let's go down to the main foot switch. We're gonna set this up to send press messages on falling edge under behaviors. That's the third one down, we'll click that. And then we're gonna add press and hold actions. We're not gonna add a long hold action today. So under press, go to edit this action, pick any LED color you want, we're going to pick blue, add message. We're going to select PC, channel 1. Under data, we're going to select count and send. And we're going to set this to send a few different program changes. We're going to set this to send 3 to 6 in steps of 1 and using counter 1. What that means is when you press the foot switch on the MIDI baby, the first time you press it, it's going to send program change 3 and then it's going to count up one, store the value in counter one, and the next time you press it, it's going to send four. Store it in counter one, five, six. When we get to six and we hit it again, it's going to roll over and go back to three. So this is going to send presets three, four, five, and six. And we're going to store the value in counter one. Now we're going to go to hold. We're going to set this for 500 milliseconds and select a different LED color. Anything you want is fine, we're gonna use green. Under add message, we're gonna to go to PC, and then channel one, so it's the same channel as before. But under data, we're gonna change this, and we're gonna make it say send counter. Now this is a special command. What it means is the MIDI baby, instead of adding or subtracting or moving or anything like that, it's just gonna go inside, look at the value of counter one, and send that again, whatever it is. And the reason for that is that on the Chase Plus devices, the only way to save a preset is to send a MIDI program change while you're holding down the right foot switch. And I'll show you why that's important. Okay, so we're gonna quit edit mode, and then we're going to write device. Once everything's written, we're ready to move on to connecting the Chase Plus pedal. So we're just gonna hook these up with our TRS cable from MIDI port to MIDI port. And then we're gonna power on the Chase Bliss pedal 
while we hold both of its foot switches down. So we'll push both foot switches down and we'll turn on our power supply. You'll see all the lights light up and you can let go of the foot switches. Now I'll go over to the MIDI Baby and just tap the foot switch a couple times. And then watch the center LED on your Chase Wheels pedal. You can see the LED is changing. That means the Chase Plus pedal has received MIDI and it's now set to the correct channel. Okay, so when we press the foot switch, we step between these four presets. So we've got this one bypassed, this one bypassed, this one has got the oscillator on, and this one's got the oscillator on. Now, if you want to change how some of those presets work, then you just make changes with your knobs here. So let's say we wanted to blink really quickly here and change a few parameters here, turn it on. Okay, so once you've got everything set the way you want it, hold down the right foot switch, and then we're gonna hold down the MIDI baby. Watch the center LED on the Chase Plus pedal, this one right here. You can see it blinks here. So we go one, two, three, four, and that's exactly where we were before, blinking rapidly and engaged. So you can do this for all the presets that you wanna set on your Chase Plus pedal. Now, because the Chase Plus pedals aren't really that great at indicating the current preset, I tend to limit this to sort of two or three presets. But if you've got a mini device that has its own display or is capable of showing you a little more information, then the MIDI Baby can really unlock a lot of potential in that. Okay, maybe you want to do something a little different. Why don't we set up the MIDI Baby to act as a tap tempo and tap divisions selector for our tonal recall? Okay, so how do we do that? Let's go to the editor and we're gonna select MIDI ring as before. And we're going to go into the main foot switch and change the press action from PC to CC toggle. So we're gonna say channel one, and then we're gonna go into the MIDI configuration manual with, for the tonal recall, and we're just gonna check the parameters. So what we're looking for is tap tempo. And according to the manual, that uses MIDI CC 93. So we're gonna change this to 93. And we're gonna say send single value. And we're just gonna change this to 127 and 127. And there you go. The counter doesn't matter because we're not counting. Okay. Now on the hold action, we're going to send a couple different values. So what we wanna do is we're gonna change this to tap subdivision. So we're gonna say CC toggle channel one and then we're gonna look at our MIDI manual again. And according to the manual, CC21 is the MIDI note divisions value. So the values are zero for quarter notes, one for dotted eighth notes, two for eighth note triplets, and three for eighth notes. So I like quarter notes, dotted eighths, and eighths. I don't really need triplets, so what I wanna send is zero, one, and three. Now it's a little tricky. So what we're gonna do is we are going to add a message and add a message. And we're gonna say CC toggle, CC toggle. And we're gonna say send messages in batch with one message per action. What that means is as we go through these, every time we hold down the switch, we're gonna send message one, then message two, then message three. So we're gonna set this to CC 21, like I said, 21, 21, 21, send single value, send single value, send single value. And we're gonna make this zero, one, and three. So we don't wanna send two. So, we'll close that out and go back in and you can see we have zero, one, and three. And we don't really need these counters, so we can set all these to counter two, it doesn't matter. It's really not important. Okay, so they'll send zero, one, and three. Now, I'm not exactly sure that this is gonna work, so we're gonna use the MIDI monitor to verify that everything's okay. We're gonna write device, and we're gonna wait for the editor to reach 100%. So when this guy stops flashing, we know we're okay to go. And now we're gonna to go to the MIDI monitor. So we'll go up to the top here and click this. And uh, the MIDI monitor is down at the bottom by default. I'm gonna put it over on the right-hand side because the way this video is formatted, 
my hand is going to be over on the left in the picture in picture. So I'm going to move this over to the right. I'm going to do clear messages. I want to hit the foot switch. I see we have CC93, CC93, CC93. So that's working correctly. Now when I hold this, what I want to see is CC21, 0, 1, 3, 0, 1, 3. There we go. So that's it. So there you go. So we're selecting tap divisions by holding the foot switch and we're able to tap in time. There you go. We've got lots more videos on the way. Chase Bliss, Maris, Alexander, Empress, Strymon, Eventide, Red Panda, you name it. If there's a particular video that you guys want to see, please post it in the comments and I'll try to get to it as quick as I can. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to be informed when new MIDI baby videos are available. Thanks for watching.